Josh, it's always great speaking with you um, because I know when I speak to you, it's great weather. And so much is usually <laughs> going on in Toronto because people are coming out to one of the biggest festivals this nation has and also probably one of the biggest and most fun and diverse that you can find anywhere in North America. But because of the uh, COVID-19, things are a little different right now. Uh, and which I'm, of course, completely disappointed because usually the, the, the event that we're talking about, I usually get to introduce some of the acts. Uh, for folks who don't know exactly what I'm talking about, I think they do know what am I talking about here, my friend. Right. Well, we were all set to go with the, the 34th annual TV Toronto Jazz Festival. Um, in fact, last night would have been last night of the festival. So I'm feeling a little bit bittersweet this morning. Um, it was scheduled to run from the, the 19th to the 28th this year. And up until, I should know the day offhand, but I, I right up until the very end of March, we were hoping, assuming that the festival would go ahead as planned. Um, so, uh, you know, up until the day before Mayor Tory made the announcement of a, basically all outside events being canceled for the rest of the um, month until further notice, we were still booking artists and we were getting excited about presenting our lineup and all that stuff. So it's been a huge change this year. And of course, not just for our festival, for, for festivals across the Canada, across Canada and around the world. So it's been, uh, yeah, it's been a complete upheaval this year, but here we are, and we're we're doing still doing our best to support, especially local musicians, and we're just going to see what we can do. Okay, so you guys got together, you got in the boardroom, you said, okay, this is what we're given. We're going to have to make some changes. How do we make people, or how do we get people to still be involved? How do we get these great acts out there for people to still enjoy the experience? You guys came up with something. What's going on with that? Yeah, well, that's exactly it. And and I have great respect for the musicians that have had to sort of pivot and done all kinds of on uh, live stream stuff, online, uh, all kinds of different concerts and stuff like that. But what we felt was really missing was that live piece, where we actually get musicians in the same place at the same time. And luckily, we've got a great partner in Jazz FM 91. They have a studio space that is available to do this exact same thing, in which we can still maintain all of the physical distancing protocols and make sure everyone is staying safe and healthy. And so we have put together a nine-week series of concerts starting this Friday, July 3rd, that runs through August 28th. Every Friday at Jazz FM 91 from 5 to 6, live to air, we're presenting a different group. And these are some of Canada's most acclaimed musicians. These are sorry, mid-career musicians, even some emerging musicians, all of whom have made our making a significant impact on jazz in this country. So we're really excited to still present live jazz even though it looks different this year you know and this is a great thing so you guys turn a negative into a positive because i see this as one um because uh with the jazz festival everybody knows that international acts from around the world want to play at this but this year we get a chance to really highlight canadian acts which i think is amazing and who are some of the um canadian acts who are going to be part of this yeah, absolutely. And and just a note, I mean, we, we do that every year at our festival. I mean, every year we have between 160 and 180 free concerts, the good majority of which feature local or Canadian artists. So it's always a priority for us, but it, it felt especially important with everything that's going on and certainly the, the uncertainty around when venues are going to reopen to try to get live music happening as soon as possible. So uh, we start this Friday, for example, with Ted Quinlan's quartet, and Ted is nominated for a Juno Award, so who knows, after some nights he might be the Juno award-winning Ted Quinlan Quartet. Cross fingers. Uh, um, yeah, uh, the following week we have Don Thompson's trio. Um, after that, we've got Jenny Tai bringing in a quartet. And again, Jenny is one of the younger musicians on the series, but she absolutely knocked it out of the park in a couple of shows that she's already done for us in the past. Great singer, fantastic pianist, jazz, blues, woogie woogie, that new, whole New Orleans thing. So she's a blast. Um, Joanna Majoko is bringing her quartet. We've got a quartet, uh, the, the Okan Quartet, um, Alexander Brown's quartet, Joy Laps project. Kirk McDonald is going to bring a quartet featuring his daughter, Virginia McDonald, who's an outstanding clarinet player. And then the, the trio called Donnybrook, which is a soul jazz uh, thing with drummer Morgan Childs kind of at the lead of it, is going to wrap it up. So what we're, we're trying to do is, is highlight musicians at various stages of the development, give a taste of what jazz is like in this city year round, because this is, this is straight ahead jazz. It's, it's Jazz influenced by Cuban music, by Caribbean music, by soul, by blues, by you know all kinds of different things. So it's 
in only nine concerts, there's only so much we could do, but we really wanted to, to demonstrate the diversity of music and musicians that, that Toronto has on display all year round, every year. Now, you kind of already mentioned it before, but I just want to make sure for folks who are listening, they understand exactly how this works. Are we just hearing this on Jazz FM? Can we go to the website? Can we see this also uh, virtual? How is that working? It's on. It's it's live to air, which means you got to tune into Jazz FM ninety one on your ninety one point one on your radio dial. Um, I'm sure they'll be broadcasting it live from their website as well. You can listen on air at the Jazz FM website as well. So that's every Friday from five to six p.m. And it'll be a good chance for me to chat for a couple of minutes with each musician, and then they'll just launch into essentially a fifteen live concert. Wait, wait, wait a second. You didn't mention about this before. Are you hosting this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for better or for worse, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. You didn't mention that before. You just got to talk about the artist. We got to get no, that I mean, in there. Congratulations no, no, for doing I mean, that. But, but look, it, it, is, it is all about the artist. I'm there basically yes. to introduce, um, give the artist an opportunity to talk a little bit more about the music, music that they're playing, um, you know, talk about whatever they want to talk about, basically. Um, we we want to make this a positive experience for all balls. We don't want to we don't want to linger too much on, on what has been so challenging over these past few months, but the reality is musicians have had to make some really tough decisions about how they approach their art form. So I'm excited to just actually sit down more than six feet away from some other, <laughs> some other musicians and, uh, and just sort of pick their brain. It, it, you know, th- th- that is one of the absolute most exciting parts of my job is to actually get to chat with musicians about the music that they make. Um, and understand a little bit more about what makes them tick behind the scenes. Because, you know, it, 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 even in the best of times, I would say being a musician is, is challenging. And so to understand why there's this drive and this passion is always, it's always a beautiful thing to, to learn about that from the musician. And I've got it. They must be thrilled. I mean, I'm just curious what uh, comments they've made to you about finding out that this has been created for them, that they, have, they still have a platform to perform. Yeah, absolutely. And everyone is, is so enthusiastic about about this sort of the series overall. I would say the comment that I'm getting most of all is it's going to be so great to actually play live with other musicians in the same time in the same place again, because that's yeah. the thing that people are craving. I mean, we can all practice our instruments at home and compose at home and everything like that. But if there's not an outlet, if there's not that opportunity to actually do the thing with other musicians and and perform the new compositions for other musicians and other people. It it can be challenging. It can be challenging to stay motivated. So to to actually have the opportunity to look other musicians in the eye, <laughs> you know, and 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 really really communicate in that way in person. That's what people have really been missing. So it's, that that's I think what what most are particularly excited about. And you just added in that that extra bonus because. The things that we're going to hear, this might be the first and only time we get to hear this because if there's anything that anybody knows about best performers, sometimes they go off whatever they decided to do, and then suddenly you got something completely different, unique, but you'll only hear that one time, and that's why you've got to listen in on this. I think this is amazing. Yeah, we're we're really excited. And there's someone, someone very famous whose name I've completely forgotten once said, you never hear the same thing once. Very true, very true. So one more time, <laughs> where do we go? What what days is it happening? Where do you go to listen in and the times so, and everything else? So this is the TV Toronto Jazz Festival Summer Concert Series. These are nine live-to-air concerts every Friday during the summer, starting this Friday, July 3rd, 5 to 6 p.m., live-to-air at Jazz FM 91. So that's 91.1 on the radio dial or jazz.fm online. Fantastic. Look, Thank you so much for uh, doing this interview with me. Thank you for creating this platform. Thank you for keeping our music summer series still going. And looking forward to hearing this on Jazz FM. And looking forward to next year when uh, Cross Fingers, everything's going to be good and we can get out and see these great performers live. Thank you again and be safe, my friend. Thanks, Rudy. Appreciate it. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.